When are you gonna get married? Why haven't you made it official? Isaiah, when are you gonna propose? These are all questions that you guys constantly ask me on YouTube and my DMs on Instagram. And I'm sure that these are questions Janice wonder about sometimes too. Before we get into today's video, what's going on guys? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video. So like I said, you guys are always questioning me about the marriage, the proposal, when am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Am I secretly married already? Even though I already explained this ring. There's just a lot of questions regarding marriage in my life right now and it's on Honestly, very crazy and kind of overwhelming and that's exactly what this video is gonna be about today well kinda so Janice is currently at the leasing office she wants to go turn in a paper that we had assigned for our apartment so this gives me enough time to explain to you guys what's gonna be going down today so last night I was watching shameless on Netflix and there's like this little part where they were like talking about marriage and this guy was saying why he didn't marry his girlfriend so on and so forth so yeah basically I got this idea from that I'm gonna be telling Janice that I cannot marry her because I am already married to someone else Ooh. now you guys are probably thinking whoa when you tell her that she's not gonna believe that yeah right that's not gonna happen so I already have a plan for that so Janice and I got together senior year of high school School. I'm gonna say when I was 16 junior year of high school I took a vacation family trip to Puerto Rico and over there in Puerto Rico you can get married at the age of 16 I don't know if that's true or not but I'm sure Janice doesn't know that either because I don't even know that myself so I'm gonna say that when I was over there at the age of 16 I got married to some girl on the island so on and so forth and I just want to see her reaction at that point I feel like she will believe me I'll be like babe listen we've been together for six years like why would I wait so long you know I want to marry you why would I wait six years but the truth is is because I'm already married to someone else and it's in Puerto Rico I never filed for a divorce so technically I cannot marry you yet so hopefully it all goes well I'm gonna set the camera up in the living room we're gonna wait for Janice to come back in the house from the leasing office I'm gonna act like I'm all stressed out and act like I need to talk to her and then we'll get the prank going right there so if you guys are ready for today's video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button comment down below team Isaiah all day every day today's video is about to be a banger guys let's go Turn the paper in. Yeah. Took forever to open the door though. I was like, freezing. Can you take a seat on and talk to you about something? About what? Something kind of serious. Did something happen? Not really, but it's just something I gotta like tell you, I guess. It's something that I should have told you a while ago. Okay. Um, we've been together for six years, right? So I feel you, I'm sure, think about a lot, you know, when am I going to propose, why haven't we gotten married, that kind of thing. I mean, I don't, like, stress about that stuff. I, I like, do think about it, of course, because, like, we have been together for a while, but it's not like I'm, like, beasting for you to propose. It's not really a big deal. I don't know. Are you stressed about that? Kind of, because, like, you already know I want to marry you. Okay, and like I said, it's been... It's been six years, so you're probably like, you know, why are you waiting so long, so on and so forth. No, I'm not thinking that, babe. It's okay. Like, oh. why, I feel like you feel, like, pressured or something. Like, it's um, okay. It's, all right. I can't marry you. What and because you and you're not going to believe me at first, but I have to give you the story. I can't marry you because I'm already married. What are you talking about? I'm already married, so I can't marry you. You can't marry me because you're already married. Right. Okay, so we've been together since we were seniors. You tell me you got married when we were like in high school? Yes. Okay, are you serious? Like you're I'm not lying. Joking. I'm not joking and I knew you weren't gonna believe me at first and you probably weren't gonna believe me at all. And this is why I've never told you. One, because I was worried how you'd react. Um, but it's. So, we got together, like you just said, our senior year of high school. Okay. I really I, think you're just BSing me. Like, I'm not how BSing you. you. I'm you telling you the truth, but listen, so you can understand, and I'm sure you'll believe me afterwards. We got together senior year of high school. Exactly. Junior, you were like babies. Junior year, when I was in high school, I was 16 years old. Me and my family took a trip to Puerto Rico, like a family vacation. Okay, right? you guys go to Puerto Rico all the time. Okay, babe, listen to my story. 16, I went on a family vacation to Puerto Rico. Over there in Puerto Rico, at the age of 16, you can legally get married. Okay? When I was over there, that summer vacation, you know, the three weeks that we spent over there, I met a girl named Yasleen. Okay? Now, 
we kind of like hit it off and everything kind of like connected well. So our families were pushing us to like get married as crazy as that sounds, but everything just felt right. Like we had a good connection. Our families got along really well. Bro, there's so no like, way that your mom pushed you to get married at freaking 16. First of all, second of all, who the hell is freaking Yasmin? Like what the hell? Yasmin. I don't Yasmin. know what her name is, honestly. Like what is the what is this that you're telling me? I'm trying to finish this story. I, I just don't so, get listen, it. Babe, like why listen, would your families encourage y'all to get married being babies? It wasn't just only my family. Obviously I had a say in it too. But like I said, everything felt like Why right would you want to get married at sixteen? Why would your mom even allow that? Can I finish my even... story, please? Can I finish my story? This is exactly why I hid this from you for so long because I knew you were going to react with this and I knew you probably weren't going to believe me. But this well, is the story. you should have been this had told me. If you were freaking married, you should have been had told me before we even got in a relationship. That's exactly why I'm acting like this. Okay, but it's like technically we're married on paper, me and Yasleen. Yes, we're married, but obviously Yasleen. we're not. Obviously we're not together. Obviously we're we don't even keep in contact anymore. But technically on paper, we are married. As you know, Puerto Rico is a United States territory, so I'm sure that kind of takes an effect over here that if I were trying to marry you, they're going to be like, hold up, nah, bro, no, you're shit. married in Puerto Rico. Like I said, I don't know if they will pull that information up. I don't know because it's a different country, but it's still a territory. So it's like, yes, like I said, everything was just connecting well over there, and we ended up just getting married. But after our vacation, we kept in contact for like, a couple of months but it kind of like we just like fell off but technically we're still married and okay i feel like i just had to get this off my chest and tell you because here we are six years and i still exactly. haven't i still haven't proposed to you we're not married yet and i'm sure this is i think about this stuff all the time i'm sure you have your thoughts and i'm sure a lot of people look at us and be like yo how come he hasn't proposed yet so it's like this is this is why and i didn't want to tell you because i knew you'd get mad but I feel like I had to tell you because it's just... Do right. I get mad? It's the right thing to do. How would I not get mad? It makes no freaking sense how, first of all, your family and her family would encourage you to get married at 16. That's so They dumb. were supportive of it. Like I don't I said, care. we had a say. We had a say in it. We went ahead and did everything. Okay, so... I didn't even I... get the girl a ring. I, need, I swear. I, I don't care. I'm not we asking were, about that. We just went to the church and like we got married. That was it. Okay, so y'all got married. So you're telling me the whole time... You've been saying you want to marry me and you're proposing soon and all of that. I do. All of that was BS. Obviously, no, you can't propose. Not. Yes, it is. Obviously, you can't propose to me. You're freaking married to somebody. Okay, I can propose to you. I just can't marry you yet. What but are you I didn't talking wanna, about? I didn't want to propose to you, you until I was legally divorced over there. Bro, you can't propose to me if you're already married. That's not how that shit works. Okay, proposals aren't on paper. You know, it's marriage that it's I don't paper. care. So How like, would I, I look propose being to? proposed to and being engaged to somebody who's married? Like I said, I knew you weren't going to believe me at first until I gave you the backstory, and I knew this is how you were going to react. Because why would you not tell me before we got in a relationship? Like, you knew. Because, I feel like you knew. And this it is wasn't the case. serious. It wasn't serious. And I knew Bro, you were marriage like is this. a serious talking about bro it wasn't serious it wasn't like a crazy marriage like i said i didn't even get the i don't give a shit if it's legally married then y'all married like bro, it doesn't it doesn't I matter didn't even get yasleen a ring it don't matter the ring is not the significance of marriage the ring is doesn't it doesn't matter okay. all right but i didn't tell you one because like i said many times i knew you were gonna react like this and then two i Can didn't want to tell me? you okay no I'm, i don't blame you but then two i didn't want you to like not be with me because of that reason. That's because exactly I what I really do happen. genuinely like, I like you back then and I love you a lot now. So then you should have like thought about since you were like a grown up enough to make a decision to get married, then you should have been grown enough to make the decision to get a divorce before you got into a relationship with me. Right. Especially, You're especially right. knowing that we were together for all this time. I'm not arguing with you. You're right. I'm not arguing with you. Okay, I'm right. Exactly. So what you did was wrong. You should have told me from the beginning. Now I feel like all of this time has been like, for nothing. What Why is this for? Because you created so many memories. We we have so much to look back on the past six years we've been together. A ring doesn't mean anything. It's not about the ring. Exactly, a ring doesn't mean anything. So it's like Why you're are you married so to mad? somebody else. Technically on paper, I'm not yes. Okay Technically with on a married paper, man. Yes. Oh my god, bro. 
Oh my God, bro, nothing. Don't try to act like this isn't all your fault. I'm not saying it's not. You okay then? So I just, don't get this involved is, I worry I, that, I was scared this was gonna happen. Now it's here it is. Dude, what? I can't even wrap my head around this. Like, what do I even do now? Listen. I feel like such right, a dumbass. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to Jamaica. And like, no, I don't even want to go anymore. No, you're going. No, not with you. I'm not. Babe, I booked that your don't come on. Don't, babe, don't, nothing, don't do that. Don't, I'm do not that. Your babe. don't do that. Listen, listen. No, I'm not your babe. Listen. You're your babe. Yasleen. The hell, Yasleen. Like, I don't even know where she lives anymore. She's probably not even in Puerto Rico anymore. She's probably somewhere in the jungle or something. Well, you need to find out, cause as long as she's married to you and you're married to her. I'm not gonna be in this whole freaking can tribal. You listen, I have a solution. What? What is your solution? Please let me know. I can book a flight to Puerto Rico within like the next week. For will, what? will you go with me so I can legally file a divorce over there in Puerto Rico? How are you gonna file a divorce without her? That's not how that works. I'm because like sure. I said, it wasn't a freaking real thing. I didn't even get the girl ring, so I'm sure they can work some magic. There's a loophole or something like that. No. We don't need her signature. There's no loophole and legal stuff. Are you kidding? Alright, well, why does everything have to be legal? Because um, you legally married her, so you have to legally Ill, uh, unmarry her. Okay, divorce. Yeah, a divorce. And okay, I, don't I will get the divorce, legally or illegally. I will get the divorce, I promise you. Just Will you take the flight with me over there? No, you're going to handle all of that by yourself. Why would you make me go through that by myself? Because this is not my issue. I've been holding this secret within myself for the past six years, and it's been killing me. And yeah, now you're going to make me go through it by myself even more? I'm going to make you go through it? This was your decision. It was your decision not to tell me. It was your decision to get married. Now it's your decision to figure it out on your own. All right, because well, all of these were made I on find, your own. If I find Yasleen like, on Facebook or something like that, you think you could talk to her? For what? The hell am I talk to her for? Like, so you can convince her, like, persuade her to like sign it? Because I don't know if she's going to be up to that. Oh, well, I don't give a shit. That's up to y'all, honestly. That is all up to you and her. She don't want to get a divorce, then bueno. You guys are married. Hope you guys enjoy your life because I want no parts of it. And that's pretty much all that I have so to say. So are you going to leave? Yes, I'm not going to be with a married man. You had me sitting here looking like Google the Fool this whole freaking time being Who with you. Who is Google? I'm over this. Like, seriously, this is ridiculous. I spent, like, so much time. I know, and I, I, I spent about, like... Two minutes doing the intro to this prank. That's how long I spent doing the intro. <laughs> get off me, because I was dead ass just Googling if you could get married at 16 in Puerto Rico. <laughs> like, this just was not sounding right. Yo, I don't even know if you could get married in Puerto Rico at 16. I don't even know if that's true or not. I was literally just about to look it up. I knew you wouldn't know. I don't even know. So it's like, I, it sounds right. You know, every anything goes down on an island. But yeah, man, it's, you gonna say to myself or what? Come on. Knuckles. Uh, who yeah. the hell is Yasleen? That's actually Anuel, uh, Anuel Doblea's new girlfriend. No comment. I'm not even gonna say nothing about I'm that. all for Karo G. That's all I'm saying. Nene, daddy's a married man. Did you know that? You got anything you want to say? Maybe Team Isaiah, preferably? No, nothing about Team Isaiah. You will never anything. say it, bro. You know you will make my whole life complete if you just say it one time. One just time. one time. Just say it, please. Come on now. Team, I'm not Team Isaiah. I'm Team Janice, period. Oh, my God. I, I really dislike you. You know what? I really do. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Like I said, I knew she wasn't going to buy it at first, but hopefully when I gave the story behind it, she would believe it, and she did. So successfully, another honestly, Team Isaiah W. Are you questioning are you, it the whole time, honestly. Bruh. It, sound, it sounds believable though. Like I got married at 16 in Puerto Rico. You guys know, if you guys are from an island, you know anything goes down on an island. It and don't I, matter. And on top of that, I don't know. Like y'all be some impulsive ass people sometimes. Who? You and your family. Oh yeah, we've been, like, we, we yeah, make we're a down. Lot, yeah, we make a lot of crazy decisions on the spot, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below Team Isaiah all day, every day. This was definitely like in my top 10. And now it's time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Divine Black. Shout out to you. Thank you for all your love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is comment down below Team Isaiah and... No. No. Salt bag, bro. No. I tell you. Salt bag. Go ahead. What do you got to do to get a post notification? What do you got to do to get a post notification shout out? Like, comment, share, and subscribe to your post notification bells so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said... Don't forget to comment down below, Team Isaiah, Don't and we'll see you guys in the next video.